everyone and welcome to the game shed with me mark now it's time for another first 15 video a series in which we play the first 15 minutes of a given game and today's given game is the human resource machine it's actually not the human resource machine it's just called human resource machine hrm so uh this is a game from the tomorrow corporation and was released uh, approximately three days ago as of making this video so I've looked on the Steam store and so far they've got 99 reviews and it's actually very, very, it's it's very positive. It's not very, very positive. Very positive on the Steam store. So they've done really well and uh, for three days worth, 99 reviews is very good. So let's get cracking with the game. Please select your employee ID. Uh, this was one that I was testing with, so I'm just going to delete that. So this is as if you were starting a fresh, starting a new game and we're going to try and get as far as we can in 15 minutes so let's see what this is all about i have your photo here somewhere which one is yours this is me the man with the blue hair yes that photo looks just like you yes it does for those of you that know me that is exactly what i look like i've got big black rings around my eyes and i'm wearing a lovely blue suit and i've got blue hair here is your badge thank you so much please proceed please proceed to the elevator um so this game is obviously office based and the titles of the floors or the levels are obviously office based as you can read there so welcome employees happy days smiley face on a post-it there um let's get cracking into mailroom year one so i'm going to set my timer now as we normally do 15 minutes is on the clock as of now because i seem to have some kind of control Welcome to your first day. You look like an excellent instruction follower. Your first job will appear over there on the right side in a moment. Remember, you can always ask me for help. Right. First off, this is Reg. He's a horrible boss. Doesn't let me work from home. Doesn't give me much of a lunch break. Gives me half an hour. Horrible. And this is me, Dijon. That's what I'm going to call myself, Dijon. So Dijon and Reg, let's get cracking. Drag commands into this area to build a program. And as you can see, this is all based around programming. So for those of you that know about programming or are programmers, you're going to find this very easy. Um, for those of you that aren't, like me, hmm, you may struggle with some of the levels. I've played a little bit and uh, the first few levels are fairly easy, kind of gradually gets you into it. But outside of that, wow, it gets, uh, it gets pretty tough. So what do we have to do? We have to go drag commands in this area to build a program. Your program should tell the worker to grab each thing from the inbox. Right, so on this one, we just do it three times. There's three boxes. He'll just repeat the steps until he gets to the end. In you go. In you go. And in you go. Dijon, good work. Well done, mate. Mailroom year one complete. This looks just like the woman from Monsters, Inc., doesn't it? The uh, receptionist, not really a woman, a monster. Second level busy mail room. So we're still happy employees. And uh, Reg is still dictating from over at his desk. Uh, second floor and it's still the same boss. Uh, congratulations on your promotion. Thank you so much. Most people stress out and quit before making it this far. Wow, you would have to have really struggled with that first level to have quit already but i can tell you have a bright future in inbox outbox management i do indeed that's what i've always wanted to be here is your new assignment grab each thing from the inbox and drop each one into the outbox you got a new command you can drag jumps arrow to jump to different lines within your program right so the jump arrow as far as I'm aware, is to repeat yourself. It makes it a bit easier. Means you can have less commands. Uh, what's with that one? Drag commands here to learn more. No, it's fine. So we can do this in three steps because it will just keep jumping back. So let's get Dijon started on that. Go on, mate. Get those boxes over in the outbox. Bosh. <laughs> That's a job well done, I'd say. Year two, done. Your presence is requested on the next floor. Let's get in there to the copy floor. Year three, and here we go. Oh no! The inbox conveyor system is completely broken. But that doesn't mean we get to take a break from work. Huh, so what do we do? Ignore the inbox for now. Okay, ignored, because they're all minus 99. Just send the following three letters to the outbox. B-U-G. Bug. 
The facilities management staff has placed some items over there on the carpet for you. If only there were a, were a way to you could pick that. I can't even speak. If only there were a way you could pick them up. So I'm ignoring inbox. I am copying from B. Go to outbox. Um, see, I can't. I have to do another command there. I can't do very, very few commands on this outbox. Copy from where's G? That's the one. Send it over to the outbox. Let's get going, Dijon. In B U G. That is job done. Reg is happy. And Doris on reception, she's happy. Let's get going. What's level four? Scrambler handler. I get the impression this is getting more and more difficult. The conveyor system is fixed. Oh, I'm so happy. And just in time for you to get to work. The data won't collate itself. Grab the first two things from the inbox and drop them into the outbox in the reverse order. Repeat until the inbox is empty. You got a new command. Feel free to copy to wherever you like on the carpet. It will be cleaned later. Okay, so grab the first two things from the inbox. So presumably, grab it from the inbox. Uh, copy it to the outbox. Uh, grab the first two things from the inbox. Drop them into the outbox. Grab another one from the inbox. Uh, and drop it in the outbox. Oh my gosh. Copy from here. And then drop it in the outbox. Right. <laughs> I think that should do it. It feels like there's too many commands in there. There probably is a much quicker way of doing this. But I'm going to go with this route. Let's try it. Can you do it, Dijon? That's in the outbox. That's in the outbox. Next. Have I done this in the right order? Oh, I must have done. He's not complaining at me. Reg hasn't sacked me yet. Reg. Verdict. Scrambler handler. Yes. Yes, your presence is requested on the next floor. Right, this is Morris here, with her black eye. She's been treated badly by her husband. Continue to elevate her. Oh, it's coffee time. Year five. Oh, Doris, Morris, and I'm going to call the other one Warris. That's the only one I can think of that rhymes. So Doris, <laughs> Morris, and Warris are chatting. Is that all you get? You literally get ten seconds worth of break, you guys. You're working too hard. That's all it comes down to. Oh, power failure. Oh, well that was a quick news broadcast. Who turned the telly on? That's what I want to know. <laughs> oh God. Right, next level, rainy summer. Strange floor, but this is obviously the name of the level. Ugh. Welcome to my personal rain cloud. I was never very good at math, since I have only three fingers on each hand. <laughs> Be good at maths if it's adding up to six. But I hear you don't actually need to know very much about math to complete these assignments. For each two things in the inbox, add them together and put the result in the outbox. Ooh, we've been given an add command, have we? So we grab from the inbox. I'm going to copy it to zero. Oh, well, one. Same deal. Doesn't really matter. Uh, then grab from the inbox. Uh, add. To <laughs> put it in one, so yeah, <laughs> let's do that. Outbox, and then we're gonna do a jump straight back to the beginning. How many commands? Six commands. Here we go. You get going, Dijon. I'm loving this. Get in there. Look at that. Minus eight, two, and minus four. I think that's a job well done. We're doing quite well so far. That's six years done. Wow. Hell of a career he's had already, old Dijon. Continue to the elevator. Oh, I get a choice. Okay, so what's this side? This side looks a lot shorter, so I'm going to go with the tripler room. Year eight. Oh, who are you? This optional area is for high-performing employees only. Oh, dear. Is that you? Well, you're late. Seven years late. <laughs> We need to make some changes around here. I want to see a 100% performance increase. From this point on, your performance will be evaluated with extra scrutiny. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. For each thing in the inbox, triple it. And outbox the results. Whew. 
How can I triple it? self input Where are we going with this? Please leave the high level zoom in a moment. So we're going to grab from the inbox. Hmm. Copy to zero. Okay, so I want to triple it. And then copy to one. And then copy to two. Add... Uh... Oh my god, this is confusing. Add one, add zero. <laughs> this seems massively convoluted. I cannot believe this is correct. Uh, <laughs> let's just try this. It's going to be wrong, isn't it? For each thing in the inbox. No, that can't. I've done that wrong, haven't I? No, I haven't, because we're copying it, copying it, copying it. Adding, adding, adding. Outbox. Hmm. Try. Okay. In, 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 add, 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 outbox. Oh no. They were expecting 18. So I only need to do two copies from. Okay. Okay. So let's take this one out. And we'll go. Oh no, 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 no. That was, oh, that was right. Step forward. Right. Copy two. We want to stick one in there. We want copy to two. So we only want two ads is what we want because it's already got one and it just needs one more. Go on. Go on, son. 18. There you go. Ha <laughs> ha. Absolutely nailed it. So I'm under scrutiny with this one. I think obviously if the outcome isn't what they want, then I'm going to be looked upon badly. Use six or fewer commands. I used eight. Oh, God. Completing 24 or fewer. No. Absolutely rubbish. Oh, well. Who cares? Let's carry on to the Octoplier Suite. I'm going to try and do this, this avenue down here. And even if I'm failing, I would love to know if you're a programmer out there and if you could have done that in less steps. Or even if you're not a programmer and you're just cleverer than me and you could have done that in less steps. Right. Yes, you can always check your own performance on each assignment's optimization challenges. The two green lights next to each button in the elevator will tell you how you're doing. Is there anything in life more thrilling than self-improvement? <laughs> oh, there's so many more things. Right, for each thing in the inbox, multiply it by eight and put the result in the outbox. Oh, man. Using a bunch of add commands is easy, but wasteful. Can you do it in only three add commands? Management is watching. Wow. Okay. So we're going to get the initial number. We're going to copy it to here. Right. So there must be a call to do a, a jump here or something. Uh, it must be. It must be. the mm, Three add commands. Oh, I suppose you can do add this. So copy to there, add it once. So they want it multiplied by eight. Well, if I add that, uh, doesn't make sense. Doesn't make sense. Hmm. Right. So I've taken the number, I've copied it to there. I've added it once. See, this is this is not going to work. <laughs> do you know what? I'm just going to do this the easy way because <laughs> I'm so rubbish. Uh, even if I do four and then a jump, the problem is, right? It's just going to keep doing it. I go back to there. It's going to add another four, add another four, add another four. See what I mean? So that doesn't work, does it? So I'm just going to do eight, five. I need to do seven, don't I? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Inbox, copy to, add, uh, and then outbox, right? <laughs> Eleven steps. <laughs> oh, that's that's definitely not optimal here. All right, let's try it. <laughs> One, two. <laughs> I think I may have got this very badly wrong. Let's see. Dong. Oh no, it's bloody right as well. <laughs> There's, how, how are you going to do that in eight steps? We didn't have any of the commands um, 
We didn't have any of those other commands to stop, basically. That's what I need, isn't it? Exactly what I need. Stop if it gets to a certain number. Jump if it gets to a certain number. That's what I need. There we go. Well, this level's almost complete, isn't it? I'm just going to speed him up. Dijon Gelm with it. Job complete! Well done, my man. Oh, look at that. Nine or fewer commands. I used 11. Wow, 44 steps. I wonder what I could have done with the commands I had. Not much, I think. I'm going to go and see if I can complete 12 in the minute we have left in this video. What a wonderful feeling when all your work over the last few years all comes together and culminates in a well-executed assignment. Featuring in the inbox, multiply it by 40. Oh, man. Oh, I can't do that. Inbox. <laughs> uh, copy to there. Uh, add that. Jump. I wonder if he'll. I wonder if he'll figure it out. Let's just try it. Or just keep going. <laughs> oh, he'll just keep going forever. That doesn't doesn't work. That jump there. Hmm. I wonder if I just do some more copy to there. Copy to there. Copy to there. And copy to there. Right, so now I've got... Oh, what a shame. Because <laughs> it was very clear. It was going to take me blooming ages to do that level. <laughs> so I'm going to quit there. I'm going to stop playing. Um, I think I'm, I'm missing... I'm possibly missing a few commands. I think if, if I went down this side, I would get those commands. Um, so that is Human Resource Machine from Tomorrow Corporation. Um, as I mentioned recently, came out just a few days ago. And it's had very good reviews so far. Very positive. So there's obviously some people that enjoy the whole gaming and programming thing at the same time. So that is that. That's 15 minutes. Driving me mental. I'm actually making my brain work. Oh, look at this. I've got a, a poor light there. Uh, making my brain hurt. There is a lot of levels. End program. Congratulations. Okay. There's quite a few. I think by the time you get up there, wow, how complicated is it going to be? If I'm sort of racking my brain massively up here. Yeah. So there you go. So, thank you very much for watching. Really appreciate a thumbs up and a comment below if you like the look of this or if you would think about buying it. It is on Steam. Head over there if you would like a copy. Um, and a comment if you're a programmer. I would love to hear from the programmers to say, what the hell are you doing, Mark? You're absolutely useless. Always appreciate that. So, thank you very, very much for watching and I will see you next time. <laughs>